in YouTube, because there's a lot of people who are starting out, uh, people who have not yet reached their first 100 subscribers, people who have not yeah. yet reached their first 1,000. I love that you said that you were not focused on numbers. You were focused on the quality of your videos. How important, because you, you're a coach. Yep. You, you're a speaker. You put out these tutorials. You have been working on a platform seriously since 2013. How important is it that people get the numbers out of their heads? Don't focus on it's, the numbers. Focus it's everything. on the quality. It's everything, but if they listen to and they watch a lot of the famous and very young content creators that are famous, they make everything really about that clout and that acknowledgement and that attention. And I think it's a mistake. And I, I come from the perspective of someone who's 36. Those people are bigger and they do bigger numbers than me. But you have to remember that also I have some people who do bigger numbers than me. They're also clients of mine for a reason. Mm -hmm. They have 10 times the numbers. I have 475,000 subscribers now. I have clients who have a million, two million, four million. My biggest client has six million. I have friends with 10 million who still ask me for advice. There's a reason for it. There's always something, no matter what you've achieved and how successful you are, how many numbers you put on the board, there's always a gap in your knowledge. There's always something you don't know. And there's always the possibility that your success may disconnect you from reality. Um, and you have to acknowledge that and have some humility about it. And so when I talk to people, especially young people, it's very hard to break through and reach them um, and let them and get them to ignore the numbers and to focus on the quality of the work. A lot of them end up in traps and they end up um, begging for followers or subscribers or sometimes they'll try and cheat and buy it because they insist that, well, no one will pay attention to me if I don't have some numbers on the board or I don't have big enough numbers. That's their insecurity talking. That's, that's the insecurity talking. And what I tell people is like, you realize that you will always be insecure if you don't earn it for real, for real. And if you make it all about these numbers, you will always be insecure. And if you fake anything, you will always be insecure because you will know damn well you don't deserve it. You'll know Ooh, that you cheated. Great you'll know, and you'll always have in the back of your head that somebody's going to dig and find out and figure it out and expose you. You'll always have in the back of your head no shortcuts. Come by it earnestly. Suffer for your success or don't bother at all. Like come by it, like, come by it earnestly. Get it the right way or not at all. Accept that. Sign on for it. Make your, like, I, I mean, it's harsh with people, but I tell them, just choose your damn sacrifice and get on with it. I, you know, I loved it. And I'm going to put a spotlight on that for a second. There are no shortcuts. We're talking YouTube here, but this applies to life. There are no shortcuts. And even if you choose to cheat and do something that you know you didn't earn, there's always that insecurity. And I love that you pointed that out, that one day you're going to be found out. So just put your head down, no matter what industry you're in, no matter what it is you're trying to pursue, put your head down and do the work. It's as simple as that. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.